a really good Winter Tapes episode is a lot more complicated than I thought. When I reviewed Poppy Rancho's last week, I think I can consider it as Rancho Tapes just trying to fit in in her own environment with people who are giving a liking to the environment that she's in. But as for this episode where she tries to keep track on every single animal in the forest and then one mistake ends up changing her life, I think that for what the cliché that this episode is doing is still being executed in a way to give Rancho Tapes a lot more development than I thought. I know it's insane and really over-exaggerating, but at the same time, since that we get so many appearances from Rancho Tapes, you should really expect what we're going to witness from her. The episode begins with Rancho Tapes checking out the wildlife in the forest with every single animal, including the three bears. She witnessed two deers mating with each other, but there were two beetles that were cutting down this tree, which causes the, the tree to collapse on the two deers. The female deer managed to get out of the way, but the male deer with antlers didn't move, which results Rancho Tapes to save him from certain death. But unfortunately, it caused the antlers to be whipped off from the deer. Not really whipped off, but being broken. Which caused the female deer to be mostly disappointed that, he, that she won't be able to mate with the male deer. This caused Rancho Tapes to go through a downward spiral because he broke the balance of nature. Since that, she's mostly into the forest and mostly trying to protect the wildlife from anything. It really shows that you can feel how depressed she is. Even if I don't usually spend most of my time in the forest and see all, all sorts of animals, you can I can still see on what people would feel whether they completely get into nature a lot when it comes to taking care of animals while also trying to not make a single mistake. In the following scene, she quit her job and spends most of her life as a citizen. And let's just say that considering that she really has a different life compared to being a ranger to protect wildlife, it's honestly a lot more bizarre to see ranger tapes, or should I say Dana tapes, in a life that Grizz, along with his brothers, just aren't condoning with. They try to get Dana back into the spirit of the wildlife, but unfortunately... It's not going to happen. So, through the next three or four minutes of this episode, Grizz, along with his brothers, are trying to convince, are trying to lure Ranger Tapes in in order to do some rescuing. By having Panther do most of the dangerous situations by getting into danger. I really feel bad for Panther, I really do, since that he instantly just isn't really capable to do everything. On his own. I did say in Summer Love that he is capable to go through some obstacles, but that doesn't mean that those obstacles contain stuff that he isn't cooperate with. And that and those stuff is lowering, lowering himself into danger. Unfortunately, the plans into having Ranger Tape save Panda ends up backfiring to the point that Dana is starting to become really annoyed. This episode is mostly predictable for the amount of times we've seen this before, but considering that Rancho Tapes is mostly just trying to live her new life and the fact that she just wants to have no p business into doing any wildlife situations, this is honestly a lot more understanding involving Rancho Tapes since that even though that she moved on, it was still too early and she didn't spend her time as Dana tapes for much longer. The bits of her where we see her life as a citizen instead of a ranger is basically the alternative of her way in life. Because we have alternatives that we'll either have to take but at the same time by choice. Considering the what ranger tapes went through by accidentally break one of the antelopes from the deal, you can really tell that she's extremely depressed. And the fact that Grizz, along with his brothers, are just trying to make sure that she gets into the spirit again like she usually does, 
it just shows that the barrels are literally the only characters that they can that Ranger tapes can rely on, but at the same time, just isn't into the mood to get back into the wildlife. After Ranger Tapes is completely fed up with the amount of attempts that the Bells are trying to get her back to be in the Ranger, they, the Bells actually see the deal from before that is actually made in with the female deal again, even without his antler. But then a homeworker with very strong antlers is about to face the one antler deal. And this is the opportunity to have Panda come to Ranger Tapes for help. But after the many attempts, she denied. And then we get the scene where Panda tells Dana about how nature is her way of life and how she keeps the balance intact. Let me tell you that this is one of the episodes where Panda isn't the main character, and yet at the same time, he gets a lot more sympathetic as each episode passes. It really shows that Panda is a really likable character when he's not the main character as well. Back at where Ice Bear and Grizz are trying to protect the two deals, it just wasn't enough until Ranger Tapes comes to the rescue. And you would think that Ranger Tapes would stop the homeworker, but apparently she didn't since that her ankle got twisted. She isn't injured, she's just a, she just got a cramp. And then Little Buck, who is the antler without, well, the other antler, stops the the home wrecker from causing so much pain. Seriously. I wouldn't say that this is better than the fight in Bambi, considering that they put a lot of effort into the fight in Bambi, but considering that this is on a low budget in a kid's show, I don't usually expect a lot, especially that this is mainly about Ranger Tapes and the wildlife of nature. And with everything back to normal, the ending is a parody of the Lion King ending. <laughs> yeah, let's be really honest. In the forest of what San Francisco is, it's nothing without Ranger or Tapes, unless it's part of the We Bear Bears world. Even though that this episode takes so many ideas from before, I still think that this episode is really, really entertaining. Even though that it's difficult to find a really good Ranger Tapes episode, mainly the fact that I scrapped those ideals for reviews, it doesn't change the fact that this episode really made me appreciate Ranger Tapes, and the fact that her development just gets a lot more better. It's good that she gets the most episodes out of any other character next to Chloe, but at last, I'm still gonna be reviewing probably one of the best episodes centering around her, along with Another character I'm yet to talk about during this month. It's taking longer than expected, I know, but that's what happens when I do months like this. I give this episode an 8 out of 10. Let's get this started!